Okay, it's Monday, August 26, 2024, at Time of Decus, 3.27 p.m. We're getting ready to meet fellow horror filmmakers Bruce Longo and Michael D. Francesco here at the Haunted House of Delson. Horror business. See, I'm in the horror business. Horror, horror. Okay, okay, cut, that's perfect. Bruce Longo, oh, 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 must attack you. Oh, no. oh, oh, die, die. Oh, oh and you, Michael DeFrancesco, fellow horror filmmaker with Bruce Longo. Mummy. From, yeah, I'm gonna get you, I'm the mummy. I'm uh, the mummy, I'm gonna get you. Uh, oh, oh. So, uh, what's it like, what's it like, you guys, being attacked by the mummy? Yeah, see, I put a pancake mix on my right hand. I got yeah. a little bit already. <laughs> yeah, I was getting over the camera. <laughs> mummy, this for the mummy runs amok. Uh, now we gotta do take in the basement now. Now I gotta take in the basement. Yeah, in the dungeon. Okay. Nelson's wait, dungeon of wait, wait, cut, cut. Sorry, I got when, right when I say mm, that's when you start walking down. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Take two. It's a blooper. Okay. Cut. Nelson's Dungeon of Monsters. This place is cool. Oh, yeah. Mmm. 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 Oh. Mmm. I'm the mummy. I'm the mummy. Mmm. I'm gonna get you. Mmm. Oh. Yeah, I'll call you, Michael oh. DeFrancesco. I will get you. Mmm. Oh. Yeah. yeah, Bruce Longo. Yeah, you're still alive. I must waste you. Oh. You look like Carl Jason Kennick with that beard. <laughs> Creator of Alien Beast. I must get him too. I must get Carl Jason oh, no. Kennick next and Ross Snyder of Saturn's Core Video. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're still alive. I thought I wasted you. Michael DeFrancesco. What does that shirt say? Coven. Let me see. Coven. Oh, uh, Coven of the Black Cube. Oh, I must get you because you didn't put me in that movie. Oh, oh, die, die. Cut. Oh, oh, I am in it. Oh, I am in it. Uh, oh, I am in it. Yeah, you're in it. Then I am in that movie. Then I will let you live. I will attack you in the next movie. And I'll attack you in the next movie. All right. So I can have more victims. Day. What? I can live one more day. Yeah, and then I will have more victims in the next movie. Right. Just like the first so, movie we were ever here, right? Yeah, so cut, that was perfect. So what's it like being in a, The Mummy Runs a Mark, Bruce DeFrancisco and Michael, I mean, Michael DeFrancisco. Yeah, it's Michael Longo and, and Bruce DeFrancisco. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Yeah, Michael Longo and Bruce DeFrancisco. No, <laughs> Bruce Longo. Who looks like Carl J. Sukenik with that beard and that hair? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, he's a Carl J. Sukenik look-alike, and then and then it's Michael D. Francesco. You know Carl J. Sukenik of Alien Beast and Mutant Masker, Mutant Masker Two, blah 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 blah. Blood of Alien Beast coming soon. He, he wanted me to edit that. To, he wanted me to do that one. He said call it Blood of Alien. Well, he he wanted me to edit it and add scenes of me to it, blah, blah, which I want to do in the future. Okay, cut, that's perfect. Yeah. It's Mon Monday, August 26, 2024. The time on deck is 8.26 p.m., I think. 8 p.m. It's, it's 8 August 26, 8th 8, 8 month, 26th day. But it's 
3.48 p.m. Central Time down in the dungeon of Dave Rock Nelson's monster movies. Okay, cut that's perfect. Just like just like Ed Wood. Yeah. Oh yeah, you see? Horror business, see? Horror business. I got that shirt from my good fiend Matt Peralta from California. Yeah. So what do you think about my new shirt? Yeah. I think it's great. Reminds me of the Misfits. Mm -hmm. Oh thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Blood Sick Productions and Coven this, Productions. Yeah, this 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 is the Mark Burchard movie, which Oh. So it's not our movie, but I got oh. it. I got it for. We have movie, a, yeah. a we have our own movie called Coven of the Black Cube that yes. just came out, starring David the Rock Nelson. Oh Be good, master movie maker. Oh good, I'm in it then. I won't yeah. attack you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll let you live for another sequel. You may yeah. even see Carl in it too. Carl J. Sukenik. Oh, Sukenik. oh yes. Make, make an appearance. We got it reviewed in the same magazines, independent video magazine. Um, in the, I mean, um, what's it called? Vi Film Threat Video Guide, Joni Lee's Psychoholics Unanimous, Alternative Cinema, um, Draculina Magazine. They'd review our movies in the same issue. And um, back, uh, Backyard Cinema, I think, by uh, Michael Trapetti. Backyard, yeah, Backyard Cinema. Uh, yeah, the very first issue, we're in that one. Yeah. Okay, cut, that's perfect. Wow. And uh, so I found a blank tape to record on. Because the other tape I was going to record on, it started, like, tearing. Because it's an old tape. It, it got, I don't know. It has some mold it's on like it. Is that a high eight? Yeah, yeah, it was. Well, it's, it's it might be a high eight camera. That's, I think, it, yeah, it's, no, it's video, yeah, it's video high eight. High yeah. Eight. Cool. Yeah, video high eight. I got oh, this I for 127 bucks. I should have brought you some. Yeah, but the hand thing came up. Oh, you got some blank tapes? Yeah, back at home, though. I didn't bring them. I didn't oh, that's okay. Yeah. I found one in my, bro my brother's chest of movies over there see that thing right here um cool. it's like I, I i got desperate because the tape mm -hmm. i was using it started tearing again and i just repaired it last night and i started tearing again so i said forget it because cool. i wanted to be ready when you guys got here yeah, so i yeah. took there was a blank i had to look around and it said halloween ideas i said, oh cool so it, when i put it in it, it said blank on it he wrote blank on the label so oh, there was nothing on it i looked so uh okay. yeah well, halloween yeah, so. Oh, it's still recording. Oh, man. Want to see Joey's? Yeah, it looks like. Super Devil Ant. Yeah, we're down in the dungeon of Dave Rock Nelson's monster movies. Oh, yeah. And there's the skeleton right behind you. Right there. Oh, the yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. Cool hanging yeah, skeleton. Yeah, I got it for a buck at the dollar store. That's pretty cool. And you want to hold the camera aiming at me? Yeah. Just look through there. You don't touch nothing. You see, it's toilet paper on it. I just scotch taped it. Hold it up on my arm, see that scotch tape, and so it won't, you know, hang down. And then, uh, so that's just, you know, and then there's pancake mix on my arm. Instead of flour and water like I used in my mummy movies, I had some pancake mix available, so I just put some water in there, got it ready right when you guys got here. Mummy. <laughs> Mmm, mmm, yeah, just like, it's like my mummy movie. The Mummy Creek's my new movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's my newest movie. I finished that last month. The day I had to leave for Monster Bash, I finished it at like 4, 4.49, 4.47am. 4.49am. Nice. The and morning I had to leave for Monster Bash, that time we're off to, you had the first copy. Yeah. After I made, after I, first I made a DVD copy of it. And after I made a DVD copy of it, you got the first DVD copy off the DVD master. You've been working on this one a couple of years, right? Yeah, I've been since since 2022. I've been editing, wow. but the scenes of the mummy were filmed in '98. Oh, damn. and I couldn't finish it because the because we had a flood in the basement and it four and a half inches of water and uh, and my I had to get an, and my VCR uh, got wrecked. It, it got I accidentally got thrown out. It, it was a brand new VCR for like 65 bucks. And I thought it didn't work, so I threw it out. And then I realized I didn't put the button. You know that button that makes this channel three or channel four? Mm. And I wasn't getting a picture. But then after I got, I said, oh, this thing don't work. I, I thought I got ripped off. But then I realized I didn't flip the button over to the four. I should have flipped it over to four because it was on three. Because mm. sometimes it works on four and sometimes it works on three where you can, you know, uh, you know, where you put the dubbing wires into the VCR from your camcorder and you play it back. Sometimes you have to flip that button behind the VCR. There's a button that goes to the left to three or it goes to the right for four, whatever. 
And I, that's what I should have done. If I had done that, it would have worked. And I, I thought the thing didn't work. I thought I got ripped off because I paid 65 bucks. It was a clearance sale, right? And I, damn, there's a brand new Sony VCR. So, and I had to save up enough money to buy yet another VCR. And I'm glad I didn't because that was going to be called The Mummy Returns. It was going to be like a 45-minute movie. But I used the stock footage of it. And I made a better movie with new footage of me as an Egyptian, which I added. And then you got Richard Crowe in it. You got Michael Flores from Psychotronic Film Society in it. All these guys are in it because I... And Monster Bash is in it. And Forrest J. Ackerman's in it from 99. All because... Because I got rid of that VCR by accident, but it worked out for the better. Because it's a better movie. Now, it's, instead of 45 minutes, it's 2 hours and 20 minutes. And it's got four Ackerman. It's got... Uh, Richard Crowe Ghost Hunter in it because I filmed footage of him way later after I filmed this. So, I mean, you know, now this is like, my, I think, my best movie. This and Demon Monster from Outer Space, my two best movies. And Devil Ant's got to be third. Oh, Devil, oh. Everybody loves Devil Ant, but this one I worked harder on. It's a very, it was very hard to edit because I added public domain music to it. Music from like the Beast of Yucca Flats and mu music from movies like that. Low budget. Public domain soundtracks. I don't use any popular music, any bands, because then the bands want you to pay. And one guy, these guys give me their DVD, go, oh yeah, and, and I figure, oh okay, because I know he wants me to use it in my movie. I say, oh, okay, thanks. You know, I'll look at it when I get a chance. And my friend says to me, Dave, he's a friend of this guy in a band. He says, Dave, when my friend gave you that DVD, he wanted you to use that for music in your movies. And I'm like, yeah, like that, yeah, but I use public domain. I don't want to have to pay the guy. Yeah, I can use public domain music for free. You know, and I, I, yeah, I can use all the piece of, is that thing still going? Still going. I can use Beast Yucca Flats music for free. Why should I pay? And besides, I want my movies to have that old look, that old sound. I want people to, to remind people of those 50s and 60s B movies that I love. That's, I want people to think, that's why I use music from those movies. The, from Wasp Woman, I mean, the music, and that's public domain. You know, like, where they're looking for the guy and, uh, you know, playing that, you know, Ronald Stein music, a lot of that, you know. Hey, Amen. So, if I can yeah. use music for free, I'm not going to use a band. I don't want to have to pay them residuals. Okay, cut that's perfect.